ladies and gentlemen, Austin Menix. How's it going, buddy? Going good, man. Going good. Just, you know, late as always. <laughs> hey, it's all good, man. It's all good. Better better late than never. Right. Yeah. Menix. That's, true. that's a cool last name, dude. That's the first time I've ever heard that last name. You said there's a lot of them over there in Sowersville. Yeah, there there is. Uh, like, I don't know a lot of them, but I know they're there. You know, I went to school yeah. with them and such, and uh, I just... It's it is a weird name. Like if you think about it, um, somebody it's pointed cool out to me though. that it just a weird weird kind of fact. Uh, it's all Roman numerals, and I was like, "That's different, huh?" It yeah. is. I was like, "That's kind of neat." But Dude, that's cool. Is it a Roman name? Have you ever like done that ancestry? It should be. Or like- <laughs> it should be by that statement, but I I don't even know, and I don't know if it's all Roman numerals. I just took his word for it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we can look it up. Yeah, I think I looked up mine one time, and uh, it was like Scott Irish, something like that. Griffith yeah. is. I'd love to do one of those ancestry dot com things. Yeah, it would be neat. I don't know what all they need from me though. If they start asking for like weird samples, you know, I might not do it. Who knows? Mm-hmm. It is <laughs> Gaelic Irish, Irish, it, which is derived. Okay, Minix was written as O. Main chin, which is derived from the word monic, which means monk. Hmm. Monk. Cool. I can see you as a monk with the beard. I don't think stuff. it'd be a bad life, really. <laughs> it seems simple, you know? Yeah. All monk. The, no technology. So hey. maybe. Well, them them people, they, they do it too. It's wild that people like that exist. Yeah. yeah it is. It's, it's, it's cool that there's that many. It's, there's that um, different a lifestyle is. You know, we have. If if we say like we were go be a monk or something, check yeah. out the their type of lifestyle. It's just neat that it's out there. It's crazy how some of them will take that vow of silence yeah. and just not say anything for the rest of their lives. Some people should. I, should, I, I, I probably should do that. <laughs> do that. Get in less trouble. Have a lot less to worry about. But th- yeah, that's why I'm hardly posting anything on Facebook, man. It, yeah. it, it's here where I get in trouble. Yeah. But. Uh, it's just cr- like what would go through your mind after so many years of not saying anything, though. That's crazy. Can they even yawn, like burp or anything? <laughs> Good <laughs> I question. I was just thinking of that, you know, because like, you, like now like, that you say that they don't make it. I've never saw them making noise. I've never hung out with anybody that's, that does that. But they're just always smiling and really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? huh. Like what? Like <laughs> what if they like stub their toe? They can't like yeah, nothing. Like nothing. That's that's hardcore. Like they can't scream out for help. <laughs> like what? what like yeah. what if there's a bear coming after you? They yeah. live in the mountains, you know. Like <laughs> they're saying, they're, they're saying to themselves, "No, I'm not going to do it. I can't do it." Like what's? I don't know, man. That's that's a weird lifestyle, man. And they live like in these temples, like fourteen thousand feet in elevation on the side of a hill. <laughs> like the if you become a monk, like you have to be dedicated. That's your life. Yeah. What it was? I wonder what old Cat Stevens is up to nowadays. Ain't that what he done? I don't know. I think I, so. I've never really listened to Cat Stevens that much. I've just heard like Peace Train, uh, that one father son song. That's really sad. Oh, it's like a really deep song. It's really good. Uh, when you're coming home, Dad, I don't yeah. know when. Yeah. But we'll get together. That sure. ah. That's a good one. He did that though. He yeah, he that, like, yeah, that was Cat Stevens. No, I mean he changed like yeah. He his name is uh, Yusuf now. Huh. Yeah, and uh, it's, he, he got out there a little bit. That's crazy. Who Ever. knows though, man? Like, and I guess he's still doing it because I haven't heard anything from him since then. There I has know. to be. It has to be so peaceful. Yeah, and the thing is, too, you can't really ask their advice. Like, hey, what's it like? Because they'd just be like, mm, you know, yeah, they, they can't talk. Yeah, can't, yeah. Can they do? I, I don't know. I, like, I, I'm I guess they now. can write. Yeah, yeah. I want to. Hopefully, I'm gonna go home and watch a monk. Documentary now, <laughs> you're, yeah. You're kind of getting me interested in it. Well, it, it, but too though, like they're uh, they're able to like control their body to the point where they don't feel pain. It seems like hmm. uh, there's some that I watched this one video one time where uh, this guy like balanced himself on like spears. Yeah, but, like the spears didn't pierce him somehow. Like he's somehow trained his body into doing that. This is a monk guy, yeah. and. Uh, a great example is uh, that Rage Against the Machine album cover that has the monk that 
set himself on fire in the middle of the street to protest the war back yeah. in the day. They said that whenever he'd done that, that he just, you know, sat there and he He's died. Done yeah, died. What? There was no screaming, no no type of physical emotion. Wow. He just it just happened. That's mind boggling. Yeah. But I mean if you're if you take that vow of silence though, I mean, who knows what level your brain gets to. I mean, I don't know if that would make you smarter necessarily, but maybe. I don't know. I don't know what happens, and they can't tell yeah, us. Like what's, what's the science behind it? You know, yeah. I'm like you, like, like very fast. And, and it's lifestyle. true too. You can't really, can't really uh, tell too much about it because, like, just, unless there is documentaries about it, I'm sure there are. But yeah, I'm sure there has to be. Uh, Fascinating culture, though. Yeah, ah. it's like the Amish too, and like other different cultures. It's just interesting to me. Yeah, I watched a uh, Amish documentary a few months back. Really? There's a few in England that are moving to Peru now. This is the one and, and the one that I watched. But apparently, uh, if I'm getting that right, I think it's Peru. There's a bunch of Amish going to move to South America now because, like, just it, almost every country now is getting so advanced society wise. You know that yeah. it's almost hard to like find like really. Like some good country places, you know, I, and, yeah. and we'll just because when it comes to the Amish, they almost have like their own little towns and like yeah. cities. Like it ain't just a little group of people; they have full on towns. Yeah. And I guess it's just hard for them to keep that space. I don't know exactly why it is they moved, but the Amish—that's a crazy bunch, man. Yeah, and like I used to, I used to see them like growing up. I'd always go to this. Uh, this like uh, animal auction in Lee City. I don't know if you know where it's at. Uh, toward mm. Campton. Um, oh, well, I've probably been by it. I've, yeah, no, just, I know where Campton's at. This is right off the highway. Yeah, um, going up a big hill on a <clears throat> round through there. And anyway, they would always be a bunch of Amish there. I'd re- I'd recognize that they were Amish, and never really talked to them that much. But you never, I've never seen them like since then. I don't know. Yeah, I thought they were more here. You know, like around, but you know, maybe they're going through too. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows, man? It's a uh, it's it's weird whenever you uh, see like a full on Amish person. There's there's the I, I don't well I know the differences, but I don't know what you call. There's the Mennonites. The Mennonites are the ones that are a, that are allowed to have certain technologies. Yeah. But I guess the other ones are just full on Amish. I guess. But uh, yeah, man, them are the ones that really take that lifestyle serious. No they just technology, stick to the old hammer and saws and stuff. Yeah, and like, I'm not trying to talk bad about them or anything, but you can just tell that yeah, they, you know. they live that lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, it was uh, it's intense to see. Yeah, yeah, to eat like from what we know, like like you say, they don't use the technologies. They don't use certain um, certain stuff we do. It, it is different, and but but I think that they might be onto something because I had that same thought be, whenever yeah. like this uh, the the pandemic started, like it was right at the time when we didn't know how bad it was going to be, and that's mm-hmm. when like everybody was rushing Walmart and oh, yeah. stuff like that. And I had that thought. I'm like, you know, if stuff really hits the fan, and like it's like an apocalypse or something like that. You just like where you can't get to the stores. Yeah. It's real pandemonium going on. Yeah. Like I, I didn't know exactly how I would defend myself. You know, like how like to live off the land. Right. I didn't. I don't know how to. <clears throat> well, I'm learning now. But the last year, I realized like I don't know how to do a garden. I don't right. know how to get beef. I don't know how to do these certain things. You know, like you, you just realized how. Well, I, I realized that. I was so reliant on society, right. and it's. I don't think that's a good thing. Yeah, I can see where you're getting at. They, they probably wouldn't. They might have not been stressing as bad as <clears throat> as other people. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there's an old saying: uh, "You only get as far as the person you follow," and I love that saying. And and that mm. was kind of like how I seen that last year. Is like we're basically just living off society and the government, what however you want to look at it. Yeah. Whenever it get if stuff ever hits the fan and you have to get back to the real basics in life, I don't know how many people are going to actually know how to do that. Be actual hunters and gatherers and go back to that lifestyle, you know? Yeah. It's a, uh, we got it good nowadays and we dodged a bullet. 
Yeah, because now you can uh, you can go to Google and pretty much learn how to do all that stuff, like set snares. Yeah, you know, get, um, dig your own well, or you know, find be sustainable. But if you didn't have those things, you would just be like scratching your head in the woods. Somewhere yeah. Like, hmm, well, now, well, I was like, I was like looking back at the, because I, I still remember at a time where we had to use maps when we drove, and I was and they uh, sold them at gas stations all the time. Yeah. It, well, I was helping my dad like clean his house uh, last year, and we found some of the old road maps we used to use. And I was like, man, like, how did we even do this back in the day? Because right. nowadays, I just I listen to my car speakers, and a voice tells me to turn right, turn left. I don't even have to really think about exactly where I'm going. It'll tell me yeah. a roadblock fifty up. miles up the road. You know. Yeah. We and if you gotten and if you did break down and you weren't. Anywhere near a convenience store, anywhere with a a, a payphone, you were screwed. <laughs> there yeah. was no cell phones. Yeah, wow. and that and this is only like oh, fifteen yeah. twenty Not that long years ago. ago. At all. No, no, technology has moved quick. I would think so quick. Like I uh, looked at a uh, old iPod Nano or whatever they called them back in the day, like the yeah. really skinny ones. <laughs> yeah. I seen one of those at a it was like GameStop or one of those stores the other day. Nostalgic. Yeah, and like, but, but even though. then, man, that's only like ten years ago, something like that. We yeah. went from that to a full on phone that has all of that in it and more. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. And now you got to pay for like eight album and single and song. And yeah. Back then, you could get what was it? Uh, what was it? LimeWire. <laughs> yeah, God. G- give your computer syphilis, basically. Yeah, yeah that's what LimeWire was. But you got free music. <laughs> hey, that and uh, FrostWire too, man. I loved FrostWire. I never tried that one. That was that, that was like it was right after LimeWire, and it didn't last for that long because that's when they started like really cracking down on those. I, I, what scared everybody was like, do you remember when they said like anybody that downloaded off of LimeWire was going to be faced with like legal action yeah. and stuff like that? Everybody was scared yeah, to like, death. <laughs> Dude, I, I was sweating bullets. I'm like, man, I'm going to prison. <laughs> <That's> basically. <laughs> Made you feel like you were uh, videoing like uh, videoing a movie in the movie theater. Oh, phone, yeah, like, yeah. He was getting away with it a little bit. That little FBI uh, thing that pops up yeah. right at the beginning of each movie, I felt like I was going to have to reread that. <laughs> it, it was, man, I miss them old days like that. I seen a, a meme on Facebook earlier today, though. It, like, I had somebody, like, showing a kid a record. And it's like, this is what we used to listen to before CDs. And the kid was like, what's the CD? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, really? I guess it's getting to that point. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped selling those CDs. <clears throat> well, I mean, they uh, they all, they basically already are. Whenever yeah. Kmart was still uh, up here in Pikeville, I remember when they were taking out the CDs. I just so happened to be in the what? store on that day, and they were taking them out. And I was like, "What are y'all doing?" And Could at least give them away. You'd think, yeah. but yeah, they. I don't. Who knows what happened to them? All types of great albums. Yeah, because like Kmart, and Magic Mart, that was the place. Where you still could get the good CDs, like that had oh, the yeah. parental advisory and yeah. all of that. Walmart won't do anything like that. <laughs> They're nope, too politically just correct. Yeah, that's terrible. But yeah, I mean, the whole process of like just sitting down and listening to a full album. I yeah. just don't think that there's going to be a lot of kids nowadays that are going to get to have that experience, and it breaks my heart. I know, well, I'm I'm kind of one of those. Uh, <clears throat> I'm kind of one of those that you were talking about that, like, they don't listen to a full album. I'm, I wasn't like that, but, you know, this COVID thing, this recent blizzard slash freezing rain, um, it, it's time for that, you know? It yeah. gives you a lot of time for that throughout the year. Just put on an album. Um, I like the one. I forget the name of the album, but it's by The Revivalist. I don't know if you listen to them. Oh, yeah. Um, I've, I've heard a few songs. Yeah. I have to look you, at that's, that's That's the thing. You should listen to uh, their album. It's just, you don't you don't always hear these uh, the hit songs. I mean, you always hear the hit songs, but you don't yeah. hear the songs that are also good songs on the album. Exactly. And if you, if you didn't put on an album, you wouldn't know about it. All of my friends and you and I. Those are the songs it, yeah. that I've heard from the revivalists. Good songs. Let's see, I think it's called "Take Care" is the name of the album. Hmm. Uh, but th- those are good songs. Uh, but there's, a, like I say, there's a lot more on the album that are just as equally as good. I think. Yeah. Well, when it comes to some artists, man, there's like there's B sides that I will like more than the actual hit single off the album. 
Yeah. There's hit singles that I hate, but I like, but I love other songs on the actual album itself. Yeah. But back in the day, man, like it was a, I don't know, it just it made you try harder. Like for mm-hmm. the actual, you, you were presenting like an, an album itself was almost a piece of art that you were presenting to the public that came with like sometimes visuals if you had cool music videos or a little mini movie that came with it. Sometimes the packaging was really cool and just like I don't know it was it was like the artist cared a lot more but now it's you'll get those two or three hit singles and then the rest of the album is just like it's trash they just yeah. basis it's like they done it because they had to almost right what well, speaking of albums uh, are you an Eric Church fan you don't have to be I like, you like some, well, of the stuff? some of the stuff Springsteen to me is yeah. a, that's an incredible song that's a good song yeah well he he's got like I don't know. He, he, there's a different side of him than Springsteen and uh, Smoke a Little Smoke, Smoke a Little Smoke, and um, a yeah. lot of his hits. Well, songs. even then, I wasn't a big fan of that Smoke a Little but Smoke song. I love. I, at first, I was. I'm. I'm bad for this too. Like, I'm bad for like really hating on a song, mm-hmm. and I hate admitting this, especially you know, <laughs> yeah. something like this. But I hate that I'm like I'll hate on a really good song. <laughs> yeah, and um. I'll listen to it and listen to it and listen to it. I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. And I'll end up being a really big fan of it. Yeah. I hate that about me. Dude. I wish I would just stick to my guns. <laughs> hey, it, it, it happens to me too, man. I, I was – well, I'm still that way nowadays, especially like with some of the newer artists. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't want to admit this. We're forced to. We're forced it, to listen to that kind of music. Yeah, but, but but then like like you, you want to hate it because of whoever it is or yep. just what style of music is like. Taylor Swift, her latest album, Folklore, that is a great album. Like I, I just, I never thought that I would say I'm a Taylor Swift fan, and like I wanted to hate it right away. I'm like, I don't like Taylor Swift. I don't, I don't care. I just, I don't, I'm not a fan. But Some man, that bad. was a great album. And Shake It Off, it's one of the best songs made of all time. Shake It Off is a dang good song. But I, I'm I'm I know I know what you're saying, man. Like you you want to hate on it, but then you're like, dang, it's actually it's, it's kind of good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I done I done Chris Stapleton the same way. I worked actually at the Mountain Art Center, and um, I was doing concessions. I did that for a couple of years, but anyway, I was into I don't know, kind of rock and rollish stuff, and uh, they were like, you want to go watch Chris Stapleton, and. For free? I'm like, no. I'm like, I hate that stuff. You know, kind of bandwagony stuff. Yeah, yeah. But now I'm like, I would die to go do something like that. You know, it's just like he. I think he's awesome. Yeah, I see. Well, I didn't do that, with Chris, but I've done that with Tyler. Tyler Childers. Yeah, I was the same way because he was just blowing up, and I was like, eh, eh. Yeah, I know. Same. It, it's almost like it's like when somebody gets popular, like they're uncool. Yeah. All, all we all sudden. hate Tom Brady. <laughs> Great example, yeah. man. That is a perfect example. Yeah. But yeah, I, now I'm a huge Tyler fan. Yeah. I love al- almost every song. But I was I was the same way. I don't know why, what causes that. I, I just like to make fun of stuff. Yeah. I like to make fun of like like anything that a lot of people like. It's fun I like being to take troll. the opposite approach it's just fun to have control. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like kind of like the Kardashians, you know. Yeah, that, that, that's a good example of something like that. With everybody liking it, then a lot of people also hate not just because it's funny. Yeah, I've never watched it, and I've, I've never been on TikTok. A lot of stuff like that. Um, I don't know, but um, what was I saying? Oh, oh yeah, about albums. Like I think yeah. it's interesting. Like you were talking about albums. Like Eric Church is he's kind of a different, in my opinion, anyway. He's different than you know the hit songs. Like you have to be, he's got a new two, three albums coming out pretty soon, um, and I'm not too sure. And um, but if you like the singles that he's releasing, is just wow. It's just wow. He keeps getting better. It mm. seems like. But the interesting thing is like you have to be a member of um, this thing called a church choir, and it's, and it's his organization and stuff. Church yeah. choir, yeah, <laughs> and that's that's good. Yeah, it's good, Eric. But the the it's thing good. the thing that's cool is like he's uh you don't, you have to be a member of the choir to get an album, one of the albums. If you're not a member of the album, it's called you you can't get it. It's called Soul and Art. I think it's and you, you like you can't have access to it if you're not a choir. So wow. I mean, I'm just interested to what's on there. You know, it's weird, man. And it's cool. That's he's going like, through all the effort for albums, like vinyl albums. 
But that's what that, that but that's when you can tell like really cares. It seems like exactly, and somebody cares about the actual art form art of, of music. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. See, some people will get into it now, especially nowadays, to just be famous. They don't care about how it sounds. They just care if it's catchy. But people like like whenever you start saying stuff like that, when it's like they almost care about it too much. Yeah. It's it's good to have people like that though, because. Mm-hmm. I, I just miss how like music made me feel back in the day, and I hope that kids still have that same feeling whenever they hear a song nowadays. But I just don't know, man. Like, I hope so too. Yeah. But it, I can see where it'd be really hard. Like I remember <clears throat> hearing War Picks for the first time whenever I was like six years old. <sighs> yeah, and I was like, just the intro. Doom, yeah, doom. like it was like I'm like, what is this? Like, yeah, it, it blew my mind, and it was like seven minutes of just awesomeness mm-hmm. and i remember like that was like that was the first time i ever called up to a radio station requested a song i'd always request war pigs yeah and i just hope that like music still has that feeling for kids that are growing up nowadays i, I they might get lucky and get something like that on the radio but it might yeah. be justin bieber <laughs> yeah <laughs> even him though, that was another one i hated him when he first came out yeah. hated him still to this day i don't want to say i like him but my wife ooh, she loves them. She, they they have a fan club. They're believers. Believers, I've heard Be- that. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she 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 likes them, and I, I'm forced to listen to them. And some songs, man, not that bad. Not that bad. Some of them aren't that bad. I yeah. agree with you. But like the newer stuff, the newer stuff, I still can't stand that baby stuff and all that. Baby, baby. That's no, it, it, it's yeah. kind. Of, it's it's more or less just catchy to me. But if you're saying like, if you're getting like something a real raw feeling out of it, like nothing else, yeah, I wouldn't turn to something like that. I would turn to like old school rock or um, even '70s soft rock, some just different songs, but not maybe not anything lately. I know where you're coming from. Yeah. Well, like back in the day, it's they were talking about personal experiences. You know, it yeah. was uh, it wasn't nothing about nice cars and you know drugs and everything else that they talk about and drop it low and so (laughs) you you didn't hear that back in the day you heard real stories from real people about real situations or they were singing about an emotion or love or a rowdy night on the town like stuff that people could relate to Mm -hmm. and it was it it was it was beautiful and I, I know that you that some you still have to have that nowadays somewhere. Yeah. But it's not that's not like what's popular. So, right. sometimes, I guess. Cuz everyone's like, well Tyler Childers, he's a good example. Is somebody that's popular but still keeps it real. Chris same way too. Chris worried me though when he started collaborating with Pink and Justin Timberlake. I yeah, like, oh, what's going on here? But no, nah, I think that was just money. It's your money, Chris. <laughs> we understand. Yeah, and he's a, he's a type too. Like he, I'm pretty sure he can make a song about anything. Yeah, I love like, his new album. I haven't checked it out yet. I want. It's good, man. I'm I'm not kidding. Whenever I say I've kind of like gotten to album stuff, I want. I would like to get a vinyl, mm-hmm. like a vinyl of that. Well, you know, like a record. Well, it's it's hard. To, see, I collect vinyl, but it's even hard nowadays to, like, to get, get something like that. Well, to, well, just get the time. Really, yeah. like the way that I've tried to do it nowadays. Is like I'll just get a CD, and whenever I have to drive far or something like that, my car don't even have a CD player. That's the thing. What do you use? The 2020 Renegade. It, it don't even have a CD player. It's I, if I knew that it didn't have a oh. CD player, and it didn't have a uh, um, a spare tire, I would, I would not even. It don't have a spare no, tire. No, I didn't even think to look in the trunk. No, I didn't. I can't, I can't, I was like, man, are you it kidding? just like it don't have the place for a spare tire. No, it's got the place for the spare tire. It's missing. They just didn't. I guess. They didn't that want to give me one. Dude. <laughs> yeah. My dad's uh, new truck is the same way. It don't have a CD player. Why? It don't make any sense. Why? Like Times wh- are changing, man. It's like uh I don't who get wrote like, that? why is it why is that why is it that hard to put a CD player in? I know cuz you can't like who would want to wire a CD player in? Like <laughs> I don't I just don't I don't get it. I guess like same thing with cassettes though. Yeah, same same ca- kind of deal. Don't see cassettes players, man. And I that never sucks. was big on those. I wouldn't. I kind of missed it a little, by a little bit. Yeah, I missed it too, but I still collect them. I'm just scared to listen to them. 
Cause well, like, afraid I, to break them or something? Yeah, well, I had one one time, like the tape messed up, and it. it was like an Aerosmith or something like that that one of my prized ones, and I was like, oh, man, I don't want to mess up another one. So I'll just I'll collect them. I is think. folk in Americana, is it's, it the same little ball court? I don't get it. See, like that's I don't, I don't get that either because uh, Tyler Childers apparently was uh, excuse me <clears throat> was trashing the whole Americana name or something like really? that a few years back. I don't know. I could be getting that wrong. I talk out of my butt on this podcast so much, but uh, I, I don't I don't get the difference either, man. Really, Amer- I guess Amer- I guess folk. I consider it's all <sighs> Americana is kind of Western, right? I don't know. That's that's why I was kind of I was you know just getting advice on it, talking about it. Like too, like what about indie? Like have you heard indie alter like yeah. listening to much indie alternative? Oh yeah, but but even then, folk. like so like some people, yeah, they they put indie and alternative in two different categories, and I, I don't get that. That's I kind of put me. it all in folk, and maybe that's that's probably wrong with me. But I put it all in like folk indie, Americana is kind of like the same little, the, the same kind of no. s- sound in a way. When did that happen? When you start like uh, getting like all those subgenres? Because back uh, in the day, like in the fifties, you had jazz, blues, and rock and roll. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. And nowadays, I wonder how many genres of music there are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that that's a good little question to ask. There's like uh, there's like thrasher, techno, electro, punk nowadays. Yeah, it gets it gets pretty crowded if you if you sit and think about it. With all the different genres, like in subgenres, like you say, one thousand two hundred and sixty-four genres. Wow, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? That's a real number. Back in uh, this is from theguardian.com from September fourth, two thousand fourteen. So there could be more. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, that, that was seven years ago. There could be a lot more since then. Tomorrow, fifteen hundred or eighteen hundred. I'd say it might be up to fifteen hundred because, like, we're. I also like realized the other day like how naive like well I, it's easy for somebody to become so naive living in like a country you you forget kind of like what's going on in other parts of the world yeah and uh, I was watching this one uh, it's like a Japanese country singer guy but it had like a weird twist to it I don't even know what you would call that genre of music so yeah. I mean we already have so many just in the United States who knows what the other parts of the world are doing. Yeah, I've I've done that a little bit. Uh, what was it like? It, it was it was Japanese too. It was I don't know. It was just uh, like on a news feed or whatever. But it popped up and it was uh, like Japanese rap and uh, it might have been called Sugar Rich or something rich. You probably know what I'm talking <laughs> Sugar, about. No. And uh, was it Little Rich or Sugar Rich? No, I like it. it was it was a young Chinese rapper, and it wasn't it wasn't that bad. I'm like, I don't think that's it. We'll find it soon, and it could be too because it was so different. You know, I never. It's it's way way out there. Hey, I mean, what was that guy's name? I'm I'm trying Ooh. to look it up. Nah, it's not happening. Oh well, no, it might rich, just be sugar or rich something. I think it's called rich something. There's one that's a sugar. His real name is Mi Yonji. It's probably a monk. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's. It's wild though. Have you heard like uh, like whenever it comes like heavy like have you like heard like Norwegian death metal and like rock and roll and like other parts of the world they take it serious. Yeah, to sit down to sit down and actually listen to it is, is I think it's different than than just hearing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hearing it like live. you can tell somebody something and they just they hear it but they don't listen to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's kind of what the so much music out there. There's like like you were just saying that much genres. I don't. I don't know if I'd sit down and listen to it if you know. I, I would. I, I'd play it, you know, but I wouldn't really give it a lot of attention. But it, yeah. the stuff I've heard, like uh, what's that one? Du Host. It was on like a Guitar Hero or something. Yeah, it's German. It didn't sound bad, you know, but I don't know what they're talking about. Is that like <laughs> that? Uh, ah, I know what song you're talking about. I think I can't remember. Wait, is that the name of the song or is that a group? I think it, I think it's the name du of the song. Host. Yeah, yeah, is that you know what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. on Guitar Hero or something or other. Kind of has like an electro drum beat behind it. It's like yeah. something, yeah. It's it's, yeah. it's different sounding, you know. At what was that? Do you remember that one video that was going around on Facebook back in the day? 
I don't know where this dude was from, from outer space. But <laughs> it was like he was dressed really weird, and he done this like thing with his tongue. Like he got la 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 la. Like it, was he Russian? Maybe? Something like that. And, and like, it, like he was like at this like huge like like a dance club or something. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Like it was like a really elaborate dance club. Yeah, like, I know like, what you're talking about. And like he dressed like a <laughs> weird as hell, man. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah he just makes noises that. with his. That, that, yeah, I'm, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> he just makes noises with his mouth. He does no no voices. And people were treating him like he was Elvis. Like he was yeah. he was it. Yeah. Like they, I don't I don't get it. <laughs> but maybe that's how they look at like. Johnny Cash uh, over in <laughs> wherever this dude's from. Who knows? And the, and the, the funny thing too is like he could come here and just not be put good. up with, <laughs> and just like just shut up, guy, and uh, or boo him or something. And then you take Johnny Cash over in Elvis or Johnny Cash over in Russia, like yeah, exactly, <laughs> same difference, man. Yeah, I don't even know how to look that up. <laughs> I, was yeah. about to, I was going to try to look that up. <laughs> uh, what like? Singing, I guess. I'm just gonna look in Russian guy singing. <laughs> it's the first thing oh, that pops no, up. No way. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got to type up, folks. For the people that are watching at home and uh, <laughs> are curious too, just look up <laughs> weird Russian singer on Google. Let's see if I can get the guy's name. Oh well, we we can't play it, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, I, <laughs> I kind of want to hear it again. <sighs> I this thing is. Uh, they call him Mac- Macaulay Culkin lookalike. I can see that. I can definitely see that. What's this dude's name? Chen- I don't think that's his name. It might be, though. I was uh, looking at this uh, something downstairs, like one of our pieces of equipment, and it mm-hmm. has like each part of the world, like the directions in their language. And I looked at Russian, and man, they have like zeros with a line down the middle and like. An X that looks like a spider. I think it's an X. I'm not <laughs> sure. Who knows? Wow. But uh, them guys are terrifying. <laughs> and this is why. Yeah, I'm not finding the guy's name. Anybody looking at home can comment it. But uh, eh, you it's know. worth listening to. <laughs> yeah, mean, if, you, if you haven't seen it, you at it, least get a laugh out of it. Oh, Vitus. Vitus. It's it's fitting. It's a fitting. Yeah. Name. He apparently he has won awards declaring him Russians ten t- something. He is recognized as Russia's most prolific live performer. He is the youngest <laughs> artist to ever performed solo at Kremlin. I guess that's in the video what we were talking about. He was MTV Asia's best foreign performer. He has released 16 studio albums. Jesus. His album, A Kiss As Long As Eternity, sold more than 2 million copies worldwide last year. This dude's putting out numbers. Isn't that a head scratcher? I mean, 2 million. That's the, yeah. that, that, that's the population of Kentucky. Like he has, a whole, he has the whole state of Kentucky basically buying his albums. Wow. That's just album sales. That's probably not streams and... Everything else, or people that just didn't buy the album because they didn't like it. That's nuts. Wow. That's what I'm saying. Like we're so. It's well. I mean, we're we're focusing on what's going on in our own place. Yeah. But it's just weird to look at stuff like that going on in Russia. Yeah. Hmm. It is. It is different stuff. Is uh, it's interesting, you know. So, what made you uh want to pick up the guitar and start in music, man? Um. Uh, really, that was a. Uh, that was uh, one of the only things for me to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, it was. And, uh, well, I, I love Sayersville, but I can get that. Yeah, I, well, I'd, I'd tell you if you if you drove through, you you'd understand what I'm getting at. And that would explain so many people why so many people play around there and, yeah. and do that stuff because oh, that's that's really all. <laughs> you, you got great people down there, man. Uh, one of my buddies uh, owns a shop down there, but I don't know. Who owned this place that we were at? They done like a little open mic down there, and I got to do some comedy. And oh, really, yeah, man, great people. Uh, his name is Justin Dar- Darnell. Justin Darnell. Justin Darnell. Shout Justin sounds- Darnell. Follow him on TikTok. Apparently, he's big into that right now. I'm not, but yeah. he is. So go follow him, folks. Yeah, no, funny I- guy. Where, where was that at? Now was that like a little <clears throat> bar it was like a thing? Little, uh, <laughs> it was some coffee shop, like. Uh, no, it, the art bar. That the was it. Bar. The art bar. I don't know if they're still in business. This was like three years ago, something like that. 
it, it, and it's not a bar. They say it's a bar, but yeah. there was no bar. It was just art. Yeah. And I had a bunch of jokes about that because I was severely ticked off. I was like, hey, we're going to have a fun night out in the town, go into a bar and do some comedy. <laughs> yeah. No but no alcohol yeah, boy. in sight, nothing. <laughs> it wasn't even BYOB. It's, it's bad. I'm sure that some people done that. Yeah. But uh, to each his own. I love Saturday's <laughs> though. there. So, but how long have you been doing music for? Uh, on and off since, for about since I was uh, 16, so about hmm, almost 10 years, nine years. Yeah, I, I've never, I've never, the thing is, I haven't progressed really in it a lot. <laughs> well, you're telling me like, like you were in the military and everything, man. So yeah. you kind of had some speed bumps along the way. Yeah, that, that was the thing. I eventually had to get it shipped. I was like, all right, I'm going to need that. I give, I give it a little break. Right, yeah. And, uh, I got mom and dad to ship me uh, my guitar, and uh, but yeah, I've, I'm I'm trying to think like two of my, I don't even know if I have like a fa- most favorite genre, and mm. I just, I like a, a little bit of everything. Um, so it's like what, what I like, you know. I don't like. Well, what style do you like? Try to like chase after you just, or do you just play whatever you well, think sounds good? The thing is, I I've been writing songs for uh, about a year since. Uh, let's see. Maybe a little bit longer, but about a year, and um, I like doing that. That's my that's one of my favorite things to do is write songs. Mm-hmm. And it, uh, do you like songwriting more than you do performing? Oh yeah, hmm, oh that's yeah, weird, man. Yeah, it, it's it's bad. But I'm not, but, I'm but, not, but, it, but it's cool though too because I think like uh, there's something to that. Willie Nelson, he was the same way. He was a uh, he was more into songwriting than he was actually yeah. performing. But I think that you can get some. Uh, Almost better songs that way. If you really care about the writing process, more than yeah, I, I don't know. Teach as, as long as you too, as, as long as you get out what you're trying to say, as long as you convey it, and yeah. you feel like I said it, and, and I'm okay with that. I, I'm okay that I said it that way. Then that's good. But um, yeah, it's been it's been it's been a while writing songs, and uh, but the thing is like. Whenever I was talking about my favorite genre, I writing wise, I try to write different genres like blues, hmm. country, bluegrass, uh, folk. Is there one that Maybe. you like writing more than others? Um, uh, I kind of like folky. Hmm. It's it's more it's more calm. It's it's like not you're not trying as hard to gain anyone's attention. Yeah, and you're just you're just doing it. You're just going for it. There's also like a like a the thing that I like about folk, I used to hate it, man. I was not a country person at all. But for some reason, within the last 10 years, I've just went down that rabbit hole, and I love it now. But uh, the thing that I've liked most about the whole folk art form is that there's a certain realness to it. You know, there's not a lot of electricity involved. It's yeah. all acoustic style instruments. Right. Like, it's it's organic, if that makes yeah, sense to people it out is, there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've always loved about folk. I do too. And it, you might have a harmonica, but that's as complicated as it gets. Exactly. Or, or a drum box or something. But yeah, it's it, and it's unique that way because it's uh like you say, there's so much uh, so much electricity and and different uh, amplifications and all that, and it's just simple, you know. Yeah. It's simple and easy. That's what I like about it. Yeah, I do too. And you and you can uh, you can hear the emotion. Too with uh, with singers too because like you, the there's a lot more uh, there's a lot more attention on the voice I guess yeah because you're still paying attention to the music and stuff but the the voice isn't getting lost in the music like how it does with certain really produced songs like Jump or something like that yeah. you know I don't know you kind of give me an idea right there like um, what if Folky was more like uh, more uh, like vocal like you might have like a high note here and and more you like feel it more like kind of like so like if you just put more into folk a little bit because most folk i hear is kind of you know just a bass line a little bit yeah and but that'd be neat to hear some folky like little a little bit different that would be cool man i can i get what you're saying there and and like but like whenever they do like put some like little scream here and there like something like that like uh whenever you listen to uh tyler's red barn Mm -hmm. or something like that that's a good example or uh, <clears throat> Lady May, whenever like there's like this one point in the song like where he says your voice like really soft, and you can just tell like you can hear that emotion. Yeah, that he's talking about his actual wife and that. He's getting into it. Yeah, it ain't no just ain't no country girl shake it for me. 
you can mm. tell like he cares about like he, he he means what he says right there yeah and, and i love too like whenever you look at it, it this isn't just folk because prince he was the same way but whenever you look at an album well whenever you look at folk albums a lot of the a lot of the time it's this way it's all like written produced and performed by that one artist mm-hmm. you don't look at a hit song and there's 12 different writers, 15 different producers, and yada, yada, yada. It's just yeah. like it's coming straight from that person's mind to your ears. Yeah. You're getting his or hers real thoughts. Yeah, even in like the, the, the live performance like you were talking about, it's kind of like sometimes it might be what the album is. <clears throat> yeah. It might be the album is, is a live performance. Yeah. And it's there's a, there's a lot of... What's the word? It just seems real genuine. I'm, I'm pretty sure you said that, but it's, yeah. you're right. Yeah, it is genuine. Seems like. Yeah. But I see you got your guitar with you today, man. And yeah. I'd like to hear a genuine tune. All right. Yeah. I can do what that. kind of a guitar do you have? I'm going to be honest with you. I tell people it's a pre war Martin because it's, <laughs> <'cause> it's like. Uh, <laughs> it's, wait, what? The name is it a, pawn, a pawn shop guitar. It's Ibanez. Oh, yeah. okay. It, I can. I can eat a and I took the thing out of it. Right there, it looks like a Martin though, yeah. man. That's the thing. Yeah, it gets at the first. At, you know, at first I'm like, yeah, it's pretty well Martin, and it sounds decent. And but it's it's Ibanez. <laughs> it's a it's, well, it's a hundred and fifty dollar Ibanez. Man, I, I don't believe the. Well, I don't believe it when people say like you have to have an expensive guitar for it to sound good because there's so many great musicians who just no, shut that down right away. Uh, yeah. Jack White, Willie Nelson. I mean, all these people. will... It, well, Jack White, I, what I like about him is he'll like order the cheapest guitar that he can and just mess around with it to make it sound good. And yeah. uh, I don't know. It, it, it's because a lot of people think that you have to spend a lot of money to be good. And you don't, folks. Just do whatever you want to do. Make your own. Yeah. Or what, what is it? D-Y, D-Y-I. Do it yourself. <laughs> eh, there you or, go. Yeah. <laughs> what song are you going to be doing for us? Let's see here, man. I'm going to make sure if it's in tune. But we've been talking folk, folky stuff. And, uh, I'll uh, play something what I felt was folky, and okay. it that's the thing. It might not be it might not be to, to you or, or anybody else, mm. but it was kind of mm. like my shot at making a folky song. But the thing was, I wasn't even trying to make it that way. Mm. Um, it just I just I just started writing it and just started playing. Um, What's the name of it? That's a good question. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's good, though, man. I, well, 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 I love that, that like, you... Uh, I think about it. Yeah. Well, 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 also, that, like, you, you don't put that much thought into it. Because, yeah, I don't think it's that big of a deal, the name. No, because uh, to me, if it's a good song, then it's a good song. Like, uh, Waylon. I've been, I've been really into Waylon Jennings here lately for some reason. And uh, he was doing hmm. Way More's Blues. Yeah. Uh, at this, like, one talk show. And yeah. the guy's like, oh, what's the song called? And he's like... I really don't know. I just I think it sounds good, and I'm that's like, you cool. know that that's cool. Yeah, like I mean, he's on a big time talk show, and he don't even know what the song's called. He just thinks it sounds good. Yeah, and that's what matters. Yeah, yeah. Wayland's a man, dude. I really I'm a, I'm a big fan too. And that's the thing. I wasn't that I wasn't uh, you know, till that long ago. I just I'm just now getting into him. Like in really? the last month, yeah. Hey. We've talked about like his albums, like all the not the hit songs, the albums, or they got some really good ones, really good ones. But uh, if I had to name this one, I think it was called, uh, I think it was called Home. Home. Um, it's a good name. Yeah. Hold on, I already messed up. <laughs> hey, it's all good, brother. Let's see. Oh 
all the good times are good is good for the road A dream on and on, on and on Dream on A journey of valley Out of space, the leaps of faith. Remember whenever in doubt, there's a place we belong. It's a place you can't call home. Oh. This is our home. Dream, dream on, on and on, dream on. Journey. Out of space, leaps of faith. Remember whenever in doubt, there's a place we belong. It's a place you can't call. This is our home. Yeah. <laughs> home is a very fitting name, man. I like it. Hey, thank you, man. Sorry, it was such a <laughs> such a long song. No, I I, I like it. Where was the uh, inspiration for that one? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> no, it's a uh, it's. I'm gonna be honest with you, and uh, sometimes that will bite you in the hind end, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. But, uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, so a uh, couple months back, uh, I had a security job, and I would just sit and write songs all the time. Just sit out there, and uh, <clears throat> what was it? I was sitting there, and uh, this little dog came. Walking up, which he had been there uh, a few days before, and uh, I guess nobody took him home. Yeah. And uh, which he's my dog now. I, I took him home and uh, with me, and uh, he was just sitting there, and he looked wore out. You know, he looked all beat up, and wore out, and just tired of it. Yeah. And I don't know. I just started playing a song. It's weird. I just started playing a song. I wrote hmm. a few handful of lines. And I didn't write it all that instance, but I wrote a lot of that song then. And it was kind of like, I don't know, just like a little bit. It's like it came deal. to you. Yeah, it was kind of like a little bit. Like, because he went asleep. Yeah. It was funny. He went asleep. I seen it. And it's kind of, if you listen to the words, it's kind of just uh, just a peaceful, easy song. It is so, like, that, 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 that's the <laughs> I know it's a weird, a weird story. But. Well, no, it's, it's such a strange phenomenon because. That right there, it can't be dismissed because there's I, I've talked with so many different types of entertainers yeah. that will say that. And, and I don't know if this is the way for regular people whenever it comes to just like regular stuff, but I don't know what makes that light bulb go off that gives you that idea. Yeah. And it's like it's like something is working through it's, you it's onto that piece of paper, or whatever it is that you're working on. Like you don't even have to think about it. It's yeah. all just bam, 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 right after the other. And then right after that, it's just like your mind is back to blank. 
Like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's weird. It's weird. It's, how it flies it's off almost the like you're. Sometimes. It's like you're possessed or something. I don't know how to explain it. And it happens to millions of people, billions of people. Yeah. So, what is that? You know, there there has to be something there. It's, it's really weird. I've heard people talk about uh, like flow state. I've heard that before. Like you just everything flows smoothly, yeah. and and people try to get in that. <coughs> They try to get in that flow state sometimes. Yeah. Man, sometimes it might just happen naturally. You know, I don't even know. Yeah, I, I can get like getting in the rhythm yeah. of something, you know, but like, but something like that is different. Like whenever a beautiful song just comes to you out of nowhere, I don't know. Like that's, it's, it's a weird thing to explain. And I don't yeah. even know how you like figure something like that out. There's somebody smart yeah. enough out there to do it. <laughs> Who knows? It, it is interesting though, because it happens a lot. Yeah, it, it and I, I just like I'm curious like if it happens like in all different types of practices, you know. Yeah. Well, everybody gets that eureka moment. Yeah, and that's what that is basically. Yeah, it's a weird thing, man. <laughs> yeah. It's a weird thing. Yeah, and then you'll have times like writing songs. I don't know if you write or anything. Oh yeah, do you? Yeah, like I, I, I've never been good at it, but like I'm, I'll mess around. That you know, you never know. Like, it's, you might it's, be... it's fun to me. Just stuff like that's fun to me. Yeah, and it, like I'll do like little song parodies. Do stupid stuff like that. I've I've tried to do parodies too, and it it is fun too. I like doing that. I only did one. I w- I wish I could do more, but it's so hard to get an idea of like. Uh, I, the only thing I did with this parody was, I just did the opposite of the song, the, yeah. the message. But I I don't know how it's where you would go like other than opposite. Like how it's would you? I don't I don't know. I'm not good at it. Yeah, I I, I just mess around and <clears throat> I'm not good at it either. I just yeah. get stupid ideas and make fun of songs basically. I, I got to hear them sometime because I'm sure you got some good ones. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm much better at writing jokes, but even then, like the whole joke process is the same way to me. Like there have really? been jokes that, like, it's like they come to me, like they're already there. Like I don't even have to write them down. I can just riff off of that. Really? And I don't know, man. It's just it's a weird thing. Hmm. Maybe they've done some research on that. I don't know. We'll look into it. If you could bottle it up in pill form or like, <laughs> you know, I bet they tell something, right? They might, you know. I mean, like it's, uh, well, we were just talking earlier, me and uh, some of my coworkers, about the whole uh, Neuralink thing that Elon Musk is working on. It's like a brain chip that's supposed huh. to help with like Alzheimer's and paraplegics and all types of wild stuff. It's going, that does sound wild. It's, going, <laughs> it's like it's basically making us superhumans almost. Huh. And it might... Get to that point one day where if you want a good idea, you can take a pill. Who knows? Mm. It's a weird world we live in nowadays, man. For sure, yeah. But yeah. but we got time for one more song if you want to play us another one, dude. Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, let me think. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. I was thinking about that. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, yeah, I'll do, I'll do you. Uh, huh. It'd be crazy if we just came out like pure heavy metal. Like black belt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Straight 180. Yeah, that's, that would be that would be difficult. Um let's see here. Yeah, I'll play I'll try and play you one. I don't know how good this will this will go, but I'll try and play you one. All right, man. Only one I have copywritten. Uh so Is that a hard process? <laughs> For th- this <laughs> this specific copyright was really hard. It it well, the only thing I did was type it out and, and waited, you know, which that's hard whenever you're like, oh, come on. But it took yeah. it took about three, three, four months, I want to say. Dang. Yeah, they how sent me a letter in the mail. How much of a process is that? Don't mind me asking. Uh, they email you back and forth. The way I did it was to the government. You can go through uh, the ASCAP or whatever. You can go to ASCAP, uh, <clears throat> BMI, but, and you can also go through the government too. Hmm. And that's what I did, and which it was. I want to say it was thirty dollars for one song, and but if you Ain't also <clears throat> no, and and also if you uh, they have the option where you can do twelve at once, but that's a lot of typing. <laughs> you know, it was like too much. I was like, I ain't got the time right now. Yeah. Yeah, there used to be like that old thing back in the day where you could write a song and then like mail it to yourself or something like that, and then you just never opened the envelope and that was supposed to prove it. I heard that once <laughs> whenever I was a kid. I, people used to do that back in the day. I don't know how well that held up in court, but uh, I'd say not too good. Is that is that a poor man's copyright? 
Uh, I guess so. Uh, I've, I've, seems like I've heard of that, but I don't I've know never if it thought works. about doing that. But oh, yeah. I mean, hey, that, that sounds that sounds pretty good. Yeah, but I'd say there's some good lawyers out there, man. That yeah. uh, they'll they'll fight against that. If anybody's out there wanting to do copyright, probably don't go that route. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go the government or ASCAP. I also heard too. You can also mm-hmm. uh, like if you video it, you know, like Facebook pages and and links and all that. Yeah. That, as long as you can prove it, you know, that point in time that you had it then. But, I mean, it's mm. it's about like the mailing process. It's not it's not 100% yeah. like certified, I guess. Yeah, even OJ got released. And there's some good lawyers out there, folks. I don't know what genre it's to be, but it, uh, it was reminding me, this beautiful weather, cruising song, like cruising around. Nice. Think about it here. <laughs> I gotta think about some. Something about riding round radio loud with the windows down, flying wide open, cruising that coast sun ain't no doubt. Feeling free, so free, middle of nowhere, first class sea. Bye bye, nice to see, seeing little adios, amigos. It's a beautiful day for freedom, get away, wish I could say. It's been real, real fun. Making a race that sinking sun on a wind gotta run chasing rainbows pain the times it can slow down Look how right now I can slow down Look how right now Got me right busy leaving, getting gone Feeling free, so free Middle of nowhere was meant for me Bye, bye, nice to see you, see you later Adios, amigos It's a beautiful day for freedom Get away, wish I could stay it's been real, real fun I'm making a race that sinking sun On a wind, and gotta run Chasing rainbows, pain The times it can slow down No, not right now I can slow down No, not right now Feeling free, so free, middle of nowhere, destiny. Bye, bye, nice to see, see you later, adios, amigos. It's a beautiful day for freedom, get away, wish I could stay. It's been real, real fun. Making a race that sinking sun on a wheel and gotta run, chasing rainbows, pain the times it can slow down. No, not right now. I can slow down. No, not right now. Man, I like it. Hearing a song Thank like God. that, like like an upbeat, groovy song like that, and looking outside and seeing the sunshine and blue sky and white clouds, <laughs> makes it feel like spring, man. Yeah. It feels good. 
Yeah, it's, it's what I wrote it for, man. I, I was just like in the mood to, to cruise. Man. I dig yeah. it. It's, it's, it's a, it finally, like, I don't know, it's feeling good. I'm, I'm finally forgetting about all that winter that we just went through. Yes. And I don't know, I got a good vibe off of that right there. Thank that you, was, man. That was a beautiful song. What did you say I you really called appreciate that? that? Roadmap Destiny was a uh, was a uh, was a thing. You know, everybody wants to like travel and stuff, and like Roadmap Roadmap Destiny felt like a good idea. It said it in there, but I think I missed it. <laughs> you hey. see why I don't uh, <laughs> perform? Like <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not a performer, but. Hey, I, I, I like it though, man. I think you have a great voice. I think your songwriting you, abilities are incredible, and I can't wait to look forward to the future, man. Whatever it is that you choose to do, I think it's going to be great. Thank you, Eli. I appreciate that, man. It's been, it's been awesome being here. I, I I like this. This is cool. Hey, it was, it. and it was an honor to have you up here, man. And anytime you want to come back up, hit me up, man, and we'll make it happen, Captain. Cool, man. And for cool. anybody that wants to check out the music of Austin Menix and everything else, Austin Menix, how do they do that? Uh, I only got a Facebook page. If you give me a follow at uh, Just Some Tunes on Facebook, and that's that's really it. Just Some Tunes. That's yeah. <laughs> I, I like that, though. It's easy to remember. It has a good groove to, to it. Yeah. yeah. Just Some Tunes. Well, Austin, thanks again, dude. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Eli. Thank you, man. And thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs> Boom. There we go, dude. That was fun. Yeah, man. That was a lot of fun.